Hey everyone, it's Coach Haley Pierce Ramsdale here to show you your first introductory video into striking what other people call a boxing. So in this video, I'm going to show you your basic stance, your ones and twos, also known as your jabs and crosses, as well as some basic fundamentals of movement. So let's get started. So to start out, we need to get you in a proper stance. Start by having your feet hip width apart, just like so. What you're going to be doing is we're going to be focused on the left lead, meaning your left foot's going to be in front for the remainder of this video. What you'll be doing is you'll be taking your right foot, stepping about the same hip width apart distance backwards, so you're in most likely a split stance. Ideally, we want to have our weight on the balls of our feet, so that way you won't have or won't be able to pick one foot up off the ground at a time. So within that perfect stance that we're going to be holding, our hands always going to be in front of the face, protecting the money maker. Okay, so simple as that. So again, we'll walk through it. Feet, hip width apart. Right foot kicks back, another hip width apart distance. Focus on putting equal weight into both feet with the weight on the balls of your feet themselves. Hands are up and we're ready to start fighting. All right, so the first thing when it comes to fighting is that we need to know how to move. Obviously, if you were to get into a fight with someone or even just training, you're not going to be able to stay in the same exact position every time. So we're going to show you a few key tricks on how to move forward, backwards, as well as side to side. The key to any type of movement is to make sure that whatever foot is in that direction, that foot's going to step first. So for example, if I'm in my position like I am so, if I want to move forward, we're going to take a first step with that left foot, takes a step forward, then the right foot follows. So it's a step step. Again, if I want to move backwards, then guess which foot? That rear foot steps back, front foot follows. So again, we go step, 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 step. Notice how when I'm moving, I'm not jumping back and forth. That's what a lot of people do when they first start boxing. The problem with that is that you're going to lose a lot of energy very fast. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're staying nice and low, nice and controlled. So just practice with me a few steps, step, step. Step, step. All right, now that we got the forward and backwards movement, we're going to try moving to the sides now. So same exact theory is that whatever foot is the closest in that direction, that foot's going to lead. So if I want to move to my left, which is going to show up as your right, I'm going to move with that left foot first, takes a wide step and a short step. So again, if I move to the right now, it's right foot, left foot. Again, let's move to the left, left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. Okay, so now we have basic movements. So now what I'm going to have you do is we're going to do what's called a flow drill or a mirror drill. If I'm moving forwards, you're going to move backwards as if we're partners kind of dancing. So turn on some music, feel comfortable, but we're just going to basically practice just a few key movements so that way you can add some of the movement when we get into the striking moving forward. All right, let's put our hands up. So just move with me. Very nice, keep going. Feel free to add any additional steps or maybe move a little bit faster if you're feeling comfortable with this movement already. But it's just a way to kind of practice and continue to warm up. All right, so we have the movement down, we've got the stance down. The last thing we're gonna teach you in this specific video is your ones and twos, also known as your jabs and crosses. So what we need to know when I call out numbers, the odd numbers are always on the lead side of the body, or the left side. The even numbers are on the rear side. The reason behind that kind of rationale is that if I have someone who's a southpaw stance with their right foot forward, if I call out a one or a two or whatever the number may be, it's the same punch. But if I'm calling out left hand, right hook, whatever that may be, it doesn't give us a real clear standard as to what punch I'm supposed to be throwing if I'm the recipient of what the coach's directions are. So I'll have everybody go back to that standard stance, left foot forward, right foot back. The ones and the twos, the jabs and crosses, which pretty much everybody is familiar with, or at least thinks they are, come from the straight punches. So they come straight out from the shoulder and back. So that one is on that left side or lead side of the body. What you'll be doing is we're going to start from the feet and work our way upwards as we explain. Okay, so if I were to throw a one, the first in action of movement is actually my lower body. A lot of people think that punches just come straight out, but if we don't have the lower body moving with us, 
it's gonna have zero power. So it's gonna be like you're hitting with pillows instead of with your fists. Okay, so we start with that foot. We're doing what's called pivoting. So it's essentially like you're squishing a bug with that left foot as you're throwing the punch. That's where your power is gonna come from. That's where the total body gets moving when it comes to boxing. So again, with the first movement is that foot pivots. Notice how it's just nice and light on the ball of my foot, kind of pivots outward, gives us a little rotation and movement. Next, we're coming all the way up. As we pivot, that left arm comes out. It's one straight line all the way through to the fists, and we're striking with those first two knuckles that are in front. So again, if I call out a one, come straight out, straight back. I'll show you from the side as well, just so you can see kind of that alignment. So if I'm in my stance here, Remember, weight on the balls of my, heel, my feet. Heels are slightly elevated to give a little bit more tension to that movement, makes us flow a little easier. That one comes straight out and straight back. Straight out and straight back. Again, out and back. So now we've got the ones down, I encourage you to pause the video now and just practice throwing that one. Nice and easy so you get the hang of it. Next, we're moving on to the two or the cross. That's coming from that rear leg. This is the power shot that most people know of. This is the one that'll knock some people out if they're not ready. Okay, so we get into that stance. It's the same principle as behind the one. So it starts at the feet, moves all the way up to the hand. Okay, so we're starting with the foot. Same thing, we pivot in, we turn, that hand comes extended, hitting with the first two knuckles. So all together, comes out, and back, out, and back, out, and back. Show you from the side one more time. So remember that split stance that we've been working on this whole time. Hands are up, the two comes out, full alignment from the shoulder all the way to the hand. That gives us maximum power and maximum strength. So we don't break our wrist or break our elbow. Come out, and back, out, and back. Again, let's practice putting them together now. So you can either pause the video or join along with me. But we're gonna focus on when we throw our punches is making sure we're breathing. If you don't breathe upon contact, you're gonna get really lightheaded really fast and we don't want any of that, okay? So I encourage you to breathe, exhale forcefully. So shh, shh, one, two. I've worked with six-year-olds before who prefer to say things like bunny or rabbit or kapow, kapang, whatever you want to do, just making sure you're exhaling on contact. So those are your main basics behind boxing. We work through our stance, we work through movement, and we introduce you to the ones and twos. Now it's your turn to put all this kind of stuff together when it comes to our rounds that we're going to be practicing with this week. So your first round, Every round is going to be three minutes and long. So three minutes of hard training, followed by one minute of rest. And what we're going to be following is a 30 on, 30 on format. So you'll do 30 seconds of punching, 30 seconds of a different exercise for three minutes straight. So basically, we'll walk you through the first round that you're going to be practicing with today. First 30 seconds, we're just throwing ones and twos. Nice and easy. When that 30 seconds comes up, we're switching. Going into hip, feet hip width apart, and we're doing body weight squats for 30 seconds at a time. Right? Then the 30 seconds tings again, we're throwing ones and twos. 30 seconds comes, now we're doing step lunges. We step forward, step forward. So we're alternating each step. So notice that we're alternating between more of a strength exercise with the lower body, as well as cardio with the upper body. So you're getting a total body workout when doing these exercises back to back. That last 30 seconds, we're going back to the ones and twos, just like so. And then the last 30 seconds of the round, we're going into more of a power exercise, we're going to go into squat jumps, just like so. Repeat that round four times this week to give yourself a little intro to boxing, as well as adding in some strength to make your week a little more active.